AquariumRadio.com. Aloha, this is Enki. You know me as Aquarius. And this is our age, the Sata Yuga. Time to celebrate with us. We have programs on all chakra tantra, love styles and relationship choices, counseling strategies and techniques that you can use at home. We have extraterrestrial radio where we deal with alienology, paranormal people, and we have an experiencers network. We have a section called Ancient Aliens, and the programs therein are Enki Speaks, Nimma, the mother of humanity, has her program, and we revise ancient anthropology. And most important of all, we have Peace Paradigms because this is the age of peace, harmony and understanding, sympathy and love abound. No more falsehoods or derisions, mystic crystal dreams and visions. And here are your hosts, Janet and Dr. Sasha Lesson. Aloha and welcome to Aquarian Radio, broadcasting live from Maui, Hawaii. Today's show is All Chakra Tantra. Today's show title is Chakra 6, The Vision Center. And today's date is January 1st, 2013. Happy New Year out there to all our listeners. Thank you for joining us today. I'm your host, Janet Carolesson, and this is my co-host. Aloha, this is Dr. Sasha Lesson. I'd like to... Uh put today's lesson in the context of all chakra tantra. The chakras are the categories or energy uh, systems within uh, every human body and um, we uh, deliberately open these to our beloveds so that we can merge at all levels of consciousness when we uh, make love. That's part of the tantric connection and uh, So we'll start the show before I go into Chakra 6, because we've already done a bunch of earlier things, that you can see all of these on www.schoolofTantra.org. And um, you'll you, it's you dot get com, honey. Dot com, honey. Yes. <laughs> www.schoolofTantra.com. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, and it's really useful. There's these Sanskrit words known as the Bija. Uh, mantra, bija means seed, uh, uh, that are act- we deliberately use to activate each of our energy centers. And uh, so to activate uh, uh, the first one, uh, which is uh, the, sex- the, uh, ch- the vulnerability chakra, um, where you feel your oneness uh, with the universe and that you belong in the world and wh- you, where you feel secure and all that sort of thing. That's that's your belongingness chakra, so to speak. Uh, the word is LAM. And then for the sexual chakra, the next one up, your genital areas, the word is VOM. And for your power chakra, associated with the diaphragm, uh, the Sanskrit word is RAM. For the uh, heart chakra, YAM. The throat chakra, hum, and the uh, vision center, which is uh, all around the forehead to the back of the head, and uh, including the third eye. The word is O, like three O's in a row. And uh, for the top of the head, the word is M, like three M's. And uh, so we're going to, uh, and if, if, you re- if you can do this alongside of us, if it's a place uh, where you can close your eyes, do so. But if, if not, um, what we do is you take a really deep breath and let your neck stretch out and each of your spine bones stretch up toward the heavens until you're all full of air. And then you say uh, the first word, uh, and we'll do this with Janet. You can do it along with her. The first word would be LOM. And as you say LOM, first you inhale and you imagine as you inhale a red rosebud appears in your uh, base chakra, in your perineum, between your genitals and your anus. A red rosebud appears when you inhale. And then when you say the word LAM, you imagine that that red rosebud opens up slowly and so that you can feel as it opens up that you belong, that uh, you're safe, that it's okay to have a vulnerable part and that uh, uh, it, that's there for you, that you have an inner child. All that opens up. So it, and. So you, you say the word LAM, and then a red rosebud uh, 
which has appeared on the inhale opens up and you can feel your security center um, opening up and so, and so forth as we do vom that's the second uh, chakra and I'll, I'll tell you each one of these as we go along as you inhale and you focus on your sexual chakra and you say the word vom v-a-m a, a uh, orange rosebud opens up and you can feel the sensuality of your genitals spreading to every uh, cell of your body and then uh, for the ROM, for the power chakra, it's an or a yellow rose that opens up after you exhale. You've inhaled the bud, and as you exhale, LOM opens up this yellow rose in your power chakra, and you can feel uh, your strength and your ability to assert yourself um, and set your boundaries, just um, really becoming strong. YAM, the he uh, heart chakra, yellow, uh, a green rose, but appears on inhale, opens up on exhale, and you, your ability to give and get love grows as you say that word, yam. For the throat chakra, where you uh, integrate the ability to maintain your silence when that's appropriate, or sing, or tell your truth, whichever is appropriate, uh, the word is ham, H-A-M, and as you inhale, a, a, a bud of, of a rose, have I kept? <laughs> Which color is the one in the throat, Janet? Green. Green. No, no, green's the heart. What? I mean, I'm sorry, uh, blue. Bl blue, okay, so, not, so the throat is blue. <laughs> blue rose, I'm not used blue. to saying blue roses. It opens up and your ability to, to maintain your silence or speak up or sing out uh, just grows. Um, and for the... Um, Purple is the uh, rosebud that appears in the in the uh, third eye. That's what today's lesson is about, and you, and the word is O. Oh, and as you say O, oh, your ability to psychically um, sense uh, what's going on with people you love and care about, and, and with the world for that matter, just opens up. And uh, finally, when you go mmm, you can just feel like the top of your head lifting up and just spiritual energy uh, pouring uh, down. So we're going to do. Um, and you do it along with us. First, we're going to do each one of these uh, roses, and I'll tell you the uh, induction again, one at a time. And then we're going to do them all in a single breath, and you can just feel the energy going all the way through every one of your chakras and connecting you with someone you love. So let's take a deep breath, and we'll start out with LAM. And as you inhale, imagine this uh, red rosebud appears, and as you exhale, it opens up, and you can, uh, and I'll tell you something. So let's go LAM. Lam. You belong. Next chakra is Vom. Big inhale. Vom. Savor sexuality. Inhale. Ram. Take yours. Inhale. Ham. Share. Mm. Transcend. So that's a little introduction to put the uh, sixth chakra in its context. Now let's do them all at once because and we call this a central flute. We're going to go through all, take a big, in, big inhale, go through all the chakras. And if you know how to do belly hold and pelvis hold and pump the energy up through your base chakra and all the other chakras all the way up to the sky, or if you're facing your beloved into your beloved, or you could do it in the mirror towards yourself. So we're going to do it's lam, vam, ram, yam, ham. Oh, mm, and then belly hold, pelvis hold, send the energy through you to someone you love. So let's take a big inhale. Lam, bam, ram, yam, ham, om. Belly hold, pelvis hold, pulse your base chakra, send energy to your beloved. Mm. Okay, so that's, uh, it's called the Bija Mantra, and... Uh, do it every day. Make it <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today's lesson is particularly about the sixth chakra, the um, and when you have several aspects to your uh, brain chakra, your vision chakra, and uh, being centered means that you can uh, embrace all of these aspects. There's on the left brain side. There's your clear intellect, the part of you that can reason. It's very very important that you have access to being able to think straight. 
There's also the right hemisphere, which is your 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 ability to get the the whole picture, to get the larger the larger aspect of things, to see how the whole thing works, and you have to be able to embrace both your logic and your intuition. And then there's the part that's associated with the back of the brain, the occiput, and this is your ability to access the akashic records, the wisdom of humanity, and all kinds of things that, like past lives, that may, some people might think are imaginal. Uh, others would just say this is just another level of reality. And so this chakra. The uh, sixth chakra, um, which is O oh in, in the sounds, is this is the, centering yourself means that you can from your fair witness you see what's going down in your in your world, and you uh, can access intellect. What do you think about this? How do you reason? Uh, intuition. What's the whole picture that you're getting? And wisdom of the ages and uh, whatever sages you're channeling. What uh, input do you have? And then you get have enough uh, information to make a better choice. And so that's sort of the way uh, you can use centering in the uh, sixth chakra. And of course, you're much more than just a uh, sixth chakra. And so it's also in any major decision. If you and you're going to really look at things from the point of view of your child. That's the first chakra. From your sensual part, you get, from your uh, power part, from your love part, from your magic part, that's your sixth chakra, and of course from your spiritual part. So that being centered means that you're not stuck in any certain chakra and you're not stuck in any pole within that dimension of that chakra. Okay, so Janet's going to wrap to you a little bit about how the sixth chakra works. So chakra six is our, excuse me, <clears throat> sorry, chakra six is uh, the center of the brain, inner vision, intuition, and intellect. The brow, third eye chakra, has two components, intellect and intuition. Humans are all psychic to some degree, and by activating this chakra, you open yourself to other worlds and visions. When you and your beloved join your minds and vision centers, you begin to see what they mean by the saying, thinking is the best way to travel. Mm -hmm. Together with the combined energy of your brow chakras, you'll roam the universe and explore other dimensions of reality. Merge completely with your lover, mind, body, and soul. Combine your psychic powers, manifest, and fulfill all your dreams. Let love rain down upon you, through you, envelop every molecule of your being, and spread out to both of you to electrify every cell. Surrender completely to each other and experience your oneness. Know that the consciousness that runs through your lover is but a part of yourself. You're becoming supercharged. The, kundal the kundalini is moving. Next stop, crown chakra. Prepare to give birth to your higher selves. The sixth brain chakra center shows people you love. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> the sixth brain chakra center shows you visions, transmits intuitions, and applies your logical intellect. Chakra six gifts you with visions for yourself, for people you love, for your community, and for the world. You and your beloveds intuit one another's thoughts and feelings, as well as those of your children, parents, friends, and others. Access six chakra messages from your dreams, past lives, fantasies, archetypes, and hero tales, especially as they apply to your intimate relationships. Okay, so we're going to uh, give you some, an exercise that you can uh, do with uh, somebody else. And um, Janet's going to do it now, but you can do it along with us. Um, or uh, access our website, which is? Schooloftantra.com And uh, it's, it's all spelled out where you can do it um, again, or do it slowly, or do it with other people. So if you've got a partner, uh, sit facing that person. Janet and I are sitting and facing um, each other. Okay. And hold hands with your partner. And rest your foreheads together so your chin is back, but the, but your foreheads are touching. And then you look upward 